So we're almost, uh, we're just uh, arriving on the job site. The cemetery right up ahead here. That's where we're putting our fins around. Not 100% sure where I want to park this thing. Maybe I should have backed in this road and then there's a driveway going up the side there. I might be able to make it. Uh, let's see. It's a little tight there, but got yeah, us a pretty good load of lumber back there. Oop. So yeah, I think I'll put it in high. Or I mean in yeah, four four wheel drive and I think I can make it up there. I got the horses to do it. Oh yeah, I can make this curve. Can't see over my hood, so I'll just guess where I'm going, I reckon. I can kinda see on the edge there what I'm doing. There we go. See, I think I'm out of the way here. Let's park it. Go take a look here. Got my morning energy here. There's a sweet old church up there. Well, get my door to flash it. There. Just kind of a lonely church sitting up there in the trees. Uh, if I think about it, I'll maybe record that. Here's my big load of lumber. That's a lot of fins there. It's a beautiful place up here. Beautiful views. I want to go fishing down there. Yeah, it's just. It's kind of it rained a little bit less or during the night, but it's well, it's not very much, not enough to even make it muddy over the top. So they already took the old fins up. You can kind of see down through there where it was, and it went all the way around. Down there, you can kind of see the line along that edge. Uh, let's see. Come on here. Get this thing to cooperate there. So my fins is going to go all around the cemetery above. All the way down the lower edge, and right on the upper side of that tree. Uh, right on the upper side of the tree down there in that corner. That's where it just came up through. And yeah, all the way around. And then right here, down this bare spot. <sighs> yeah. So I guess we'll get started on it and get it done. I won't be getting it done today, but... I'll be getting some of it anyway. I won't be able to get a full day in today. Got other things going on, so yeah. It kind of curves around here. I think I can just kind of slowly jack my line around there uh, to match with the driveway. So yeah. I'll get at it and get started here. So I'm just standing here kind of looking around. I look way over there on the hill. Where's it at? Oh, right there. And there's a deer out there. Oops. There he comes. It's heading right at me. Look at that. That's hilarious. It's about... Oops, I better watch my camera. Where'd it go? I lost it on my camera. Oh, it turned around and it's going back. Where is it? Oh, way up there. Right there and the, it's kind of behind the branch. Where'd it go? It disappeared again. I'm zoomed in too far. There it is. I don't really know. Eh, I probably didn't get it on camera. It's way up the fins there. It's kind of I'm not sure what it thinks it's doing. If you can see in the wrong corner there, it's 
kind of disappeared again behind the trees I can you know that's the telephone pole I see now huh okay that just moved down a little bit farther where I can see that oh there it is way down here I thought it went over the hill I don't know what its problem is I'm not I think it might want to go across the fence and that's uh I was here this me talking huh. it's a hot fan or uh yeah, electric fence, and apparently don't want to cross it. Down over the hill. It must have hurt me talking after it was out there eating and it kind of spooked it or something. I mean, it's probably 200 yards or so out there to, from me to the deer. But the wind's kind of, let's see. Wind's blowing towards me, so it shouldn't smell me. It must have hurt me. <sighs> yep, well, I thought maybe it would come back over the hill, but I don't think it will. So I better get busy here. Work ain't going to do itself, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd sit down and drink coffee while it does itself. All my tools and stuff in here. My little hand dicker that I'll be using, or hand auger. Dicker to clean the rest of the holes out. Some concrete mix for the post where I hang my gates on. I won't be getting the gates built today, but... Um, uh, that'll be for, the for later on. Another day. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to kind of explain the post. So these are line posts. This stack on this side is all the line posts. They got the holes that go all the way through. Uh, all these bottoms things are the rails. Um, then I got me some corner posts and some end posts. This, let's see, these are all corner posts. Um, here's an end post right here. They only have a hole on one side, so that when you finish, like if you could buy a gate or something, instead of the two, uh, give me a second here, instead of uh, uh, two pieces sticking together, like, because the, they stick into the post hole like this on the line post, uh, of course, so... In the ends here, there's only one sticking in, so it's just is, and the hole don't go all the way through. It's just a, so. And then these are right here. You can see the corner posts. They got uh, a hole in here, and in 90 degrees on the side, there's another hole. So yeah, and that's what I'm needing right now. So I just figured I'd uh, explain that. So I'll yank me one of those out and get down there and stick it in the corner. There's one of my rails. These are like they're 11 foot long, but by the time you stick them through the hole, I'm matching there, you're going to be closer to 10 foot apart with your post. I'm not sure. To be honest, it's my first time uh, doing this kind of fence, so I'm kind of learning with the rest of you. So I'm going to take this rail down, stick it in the corner post, and kind of mark it where my next post is going to go, and then I'll dig that hole. Uh, that way I know my hole's right. Some idiot went and had all his posts stacked on top of the rails, so now there's kind of posts in the way, so I can pull a few out of that corner maybe. 
on that side. I think if I just roll those corner or those end posts out or off of the trailer, I can get to them. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'll take this rail. Oh, I couldn't get my stake to go down in. I didn't think about bringing a concrete metal metal concrete stake, so I was trying to put a wooden stake in, and the ground's too hard. So I may do with some posts. It does the same trick. Tighten my string through the hole on that one and stretch it down. Of course, you want to make sure that it's not that your string's not touching the ground, which mine is not. So I'll go down through there and start coming up through here with posts. Um, shouldn't take too crazy long unless I start hitting some serious rocks, and I'm hoping I don't. So. I got this uh, let's see let's see if I can hit that there this uh, section done with the end post as you see they stick in on that side but on this side there's not the hole don't come out so you don't have that big old hole besides the holes like half a small or smaller even just it fits not the ends nice on this side, I got another end post in and a lower rail. If I were to start it like this side, it's going to be a lot easier. I'll just sit my water truck down. I'll just stick my ends into here as far as they'll go. And I'm going to toe nail or toe screw them again or screw them in through the side of the post into the rail again just to make sure they don't come out. But these will be a lot nicer. I'll just stick them in. Again, till I hit the post, and then, you know, as I go around, when I stick those rails into that post, it'll tighten everything up. Um, I could have done that here, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to cut rails down at the lower end. I, I wanted to make sure I can do f a full rail uh, from the corner up. So that's the reason I did it that way, and it worked out great. So, yeah. Um... I'll pop the rest of these two rails in and continue working. I might get into a little area of shade here in a little bit. It's getting kind of warm out here, but this breeze sure feels good. So yeah. A lot of bikers on 555 there. That's their favorite road. It seems like all the bikers really like it. It's got a lot of curves and stuff in it. There's been a lot of times they come in groups. There was a group of six and a group of eight that came through a little while back. And every now and then you'll get a group of several dozen. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're getting there. I don't know. I might, I might get almost halfway with this fence today. It's moving along pretty good. Which once I make my doors, I'm going to do the homemade uh, gates. Uh, those are going to sl slow me down and take a little bit of time. But I'm still really pleased how well it's going so far, and hopefully I don't run into no issues. I mean, coming down through here, I'm hoping I don't run into roots. I got this one big old oak tree right there, another one behind it. The little pine shouldn't cost me much problem, but I'd rather hit the roots though than those shale stone. I'm really hoping along the bottom and up the road I won't hit them so much, but I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'll get this rail scene, get the next whole duck, and keep on rolling.
so I just finished eating my lunch here uh, and yeah the shade is really starting to come across here so I'll be working in kind of a nice cool shady area for a little bit here so far I think I did pretty good um, for not coming here that early this morning I got two sections here um, and I'm working on a third one just about to start that I'll explain that in a little bit but but yeah I mean I've come all the way from the corner of the road up through here and for the shale I was fighting it was pretty good I think um, knock on wood but so far down through here it's pretty good um, I was going to put the gate between this post and the one over there, but then in that one I hit such a horrible shale mess that I couldn't get it down where I wanted it. So I decided to come one post farther and put the gate in here. Uh, and like I said, that post dug really nice. This one dug really nice. In fact, every one of them did. I dug a few while I took that stone out right on top of this one, but then it went right down through after that. So yeah, anyway, what I was going, I think I was going to say is this fence, you can kind of see, I mean, from that gate, it comes straight down. I think I have a little bit of a bend in there, and then it bends a little bit to this post here, and I'm going to have to go slightly curve. I'm slowly trying to work my way around this curve. It's not the easiest thing with these rails, but I'm, I think I can make it. Uh, as you see it up there, you can see it kind of puts them on that little bit of a bind so I'm trying to use the little, the skinnier rails if I have to I can notch I'm, if I have to I'll take my chainsaw this post I couldn't I have to take a post with no bark itch on it or turn this one around and I just kind of notch a little bit of an angle down through here cut the angle so they slide in better um, if I end up running out of the skinnier rails I'll do that so far it's working out I mean as you can see, I've got that much of a bend I'm able to get out of this one. And I think I can get that much more out of what's going on here. There. I think I can get that much more on down to another post and then get it straight. And then I'll be shooting straight down to the line which the fins went right behind that stone down there. You can kind of see... Uh, let me zoom it out so my finger don't look. You can kind of see the line going down through there. So yeah, I think it'll, I think I can get it. And then just on the upper side of that stone is where that little small gate's gone into. So yeah, we're getting there. So anyway, I'll get back at it, get this post in and find me some more skinny rails and continue working my way around there.
was somewhere down in here last time. Maybe it was up here. Since I re took a recording last. So far, I've come from the 10-foot gate. I've been coming all the way down. Kind of curled around this curve. My bents have been turning out pretty good. Now I'm down here. I got one more section and then I'm going to be putting a gate in. I'll be putting three more. Actually, there's, there's my end post laying there. Uh, right there. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And then I gotta, I'm going to run up and grab three rails. I need to back down here so I don't have to walk all the way up there. Um, bring three rails down. I'm probably just going to put those three rails in in the end post and it's already almost uh, 320 right now so I really got to get that got done and get out of here I need to get home in time to get some other stuff done I need to go look at another shop and I got to pick up some parts at the hardware store so yeah that's all right but I am really pleased I mean I came all the way from over the hill there you can't really see it there all the way down over the hill another uh two three fence sections which will be 10 20 20 some feet and up over the hill there up to the truck there's the gate and around the curve there and down through here pretty good haul for today i think not more of a day than i've been putting in oops what am i doing here there we go so yeah, I'm I'm pleased. <sighs> Ooh, that breeze feels good. Every now and then I get a whiff of something that smells really sweet. It smells kind of like locust blooms. I love those oak trees with big, they're big, uh, powerful looking branches. But yeah, there's something I haven't every now and then, depending on how the breeze is, there's just this really sweet aroma. So I don't know. You know what? Yeah, right there is some. A small tree, so there's probably some bigger ones somewhere. It must be up on the hill. Uh a locust tree. Where's this little tree? Oh, it's just a little shrub yet. Hang on, this one ain't locust. This is something else. I don't have much of a smell. It smells like locusts, whatever they smell. I don't know where they're at, but they've just got a really sweet aroma. So anyway, I better get these sections popped on and kind of load stuff up. And I'll just take the rest of that home with me again since I'll be having tomorrow off to go on a trip for the weekend. I don't want to leave my wood sitting here. Hey, where do we get where people might come steal it? Worse yet, take the trailer and everything. I always put a lock on it, but you never know. They could bust it off. Anyway, I'm going to grab three more sections, and I'm going to pop them in there, put the end post on, and I'm going to gather my stuff up and be out of here. So... All right, got my end put in here. So there's gonna be like a small gate coming in here. And then I just come down to the corner here. You can kinda, like I would like before, you can sort of see where the corner was. The line went right in front of that tree. And it used to run right up, up through there to the post. So here's the view from down this way. Back over a little bit. Yeah, there's the view so far. Not bad. I like it. So I'll just sort of follow this all the way around. Still got a lot of stuff on that trailer though. I had a total of 39 
line post, I believe. And here's the 10 foot gate coming in. And continue on down. To the road there. I ain't gonna walk that far. That's too much energy to waste. Yeah, I'm gonna make you look at that scenery again, whether you like it or not. Only way you lose out is, or only way you're not gonna have to see this if you close your eyes real quick. I nah, ain't gonna do that either. Anyway, yeah. Turned out really well. So I just got that short section of the gate and then a short section down by the tree and then follow it right over to the corner and then follow the road, boom, up to that corner. And that's it. I'm thinking the next from the rest of it seems to be digging really well. The shale was just along the top here. In fact, it kind of, in fact, it was just there on the side sloping toward the road. From that post, several posts down through there. Um, if I'm lucky, and all the rest of that digs nice, I ought to get all the rest of that uh, fence in in another day, minus the gates, and it won't take me another day. I don't think to do to do those. I'll have a total of three to make, but I don't think those will take too crazy long. Um, but yeah, I better hit the road. I still gotta get home and park this thing. And then I'll probably use the Equinox since we've got that nice expensive field nowadays and run to town. So yeah, I got a, quite a bit of stuff here yet. I had a total of 139 of the split rails and then 30, actually I think it was 34 posts. And then of course like eight end posts and whatnot. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to grab me a drink of water here. Throw this stuff in the truck, cover it up. Got my load strapped down so it ain't going nowhere. And then I'm going to hit the road. So, I guess we'll see you the next time. I don't know, unless I decide to record farther as I leave here. We'll see. All loaded, ready to hit out.